Happy Tuesday, everybody. And Tuesdays in Nanaimo, if you're a realtor, means it's tour day. Tuesdays are days that we take the time to go and view all the new listings in the city. And since I haven't featured that much about the south side of the city, I thought I would take you all along with me to see what's for sale in Nanaimo South Edition. So I've just pulled into 1816 Meadowlark Crescent and this home is located in an area called Cedar. So Cedar is located south of the city. It's actually where it starts to get a little bit more rural um, south of Chase River. And this particular house sits on a quarter acre of land. So if you are somebody that's looking for a more affordable home with a good piece of property, Cedar is an excellent place to look. There are some beautiful neighborhoods here in Cedar, uh, particularly Cedar by the Sea, which has beautiful ocean views, Yellow Point, which is along the coast of the Salish Sea. So yeah, let's go have a look inside. I'm excited to see this one and um, I'll give you a little walking tour. It's a little bit rainy today to be outside. So a lot of this is going to be shot for my vehicle so that we don't get uh, soaking wet, uh, but let's go see. So here we are at 1816 Meadowlark Drive. This split level entry home sits on a quarter acre lot and is just over 1900 square feet. It's got four bedrooms, two bathrooms, electric heat and a heat pump. And it's listed for just $849,000. This home was situated in a super quiet and family-friendly street, very safe, with the nearest schools being Cedar Elementary and Cedar Secondary School. And this home is presented by Janine Sedola at Sutton Group West Coast Realty. Let me know if you'd like to have a look. So this is 2283 South Wellington Road. It's a 2022 build, so you get a brand new house without paying GST. Extension is an area, um, we were about 11 minutes away where we were in Cedar, so we just went west. It's still south uh, Nanaimo, or in the south side of the city. And there aren't a lot of new, new, new developments like this um, around here. This is kind of an older build area. So I'm excited to see what this one looks like. Let's go have a look inside. So welcome to 2283 South Wellington Road. You're close to the airport here, close to the Nanaimo River. And as we walk through this home, you can see how beautifully done it is. Vaulted ceilings, quartz countertops on that lovely large kitchen island. This home has three beds, two bathrooms, and it's just over 1,500 square feet of living space. The schools nearby here as well are Cedar Elementary and Cedar Secondary. This home has too many features to list in this one video, but if you are interested, let me know. This is listed for $779,000, presented by Shannon Frith at 460 Realty. That was a lovely home. I really enjoyed that one. Um, next, we're headed to Chase River. My GPS says 14 minutes, because we have to go back down to the highway. Um, so Chase River is just kind of the bottom south side of Nanaimo, south of downtown, and is a really great area for um, young families moving. The home prices are a little bit more affordable, but you get a lot of bang for your buck. This home in particular though is on the luxury side. It is a 31 acre farm listed at 2,490,000. So I'm really excited to see this one and uh, I will meet you there. Chase River at 
75 Kelsey Road, 31 acre farm. Let's go see. So this is a sprawling, over 5,000 square foot, custom built home in Cedar. So you have the benefit of feeling like you are on the outskirts of town, completely secluded on this 31 acre working farm, but in fact, you're only 12 minutes from downtown Nanaimo. The schools here are Cinnabar Valley Elementary and Cedar Secondary. This home has six bedrooms and four bathrooms. This home also has a brand new roof, brand new siding, and bonus, all of the farm equipment is included in the purchase of this home for $2,490,000. This home is presented by Sandy Liu and Win Mint at 460 Realty. So I'm super excited about this next stop on tour. Here we are at 524 Second Street in the University District. Uh, this is a great little completely updated home and check out this backyard. Lots of space for outdoor entertaining. The home is only listed for $555,000. So this is just 830 square feet of living space but if you take a look at the inside it is beautifully redone with sliding barn doors no detail has been spared there are two bedrooms one bathroom and this home is presented by Travis Briggs at Remax Generation final home on tour today um, it's been a good one so now we are at 1919 Valley Oak this is a mobile home park very well maintained from what I can see if you are interested in a mobile home and you are planning to finance one just keep in mind that there are a little bit more hurdles to get that said financing so definitely something to speak to your mo mortgage broker about so this one is listed at 4249 so let's go have a look inside and uh, finish off our tour for today. Welcome to 89 1919 Valley Oak Drive. This manufactured home is listed for $425,000 by Don Walton at EXP Realty. The manufactured home has two bedrooms, two bathrooms, and just under 1,300 square feet of living space and is beautifully maintained. The schools here are Fairview Elementary and Nanaimo District Secondary. Thanks so much for coming on tour with me today for the south side of Nanaimo. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe so you're kept up to date with all things Nanaimo and hopefully I will see you again on tour soon.